How's everyone doing? This is basically going to be a redo video because a few days ago when I made this video, A, I didn't realize that I had the lights off and B, the sun was coming through the blinds. I need to invest in some curtains and so when I was showing the movies, you couldn't really see them because of the glare and the light. So I figured I'd go ahead and redo this video and enough expounding. I was in a rush to begin with because I only have 18 minutes uh, for the memory card record, uh, before it becomes full. And then I was getting ready to go on a date as well. So I was rushing like crazy and I didn't really take into consideration the lights and then the lights. So uh, let's get into it. This video is going to be an awesome major blockbuster blu-ray deal one of the best deals i've gotten there's a guy selling essentially his whole collection of blu-rays uh there was 91 blu-rays and i talked him down to 180 dollars so less than two dollars a blu-ray and he threw in uh four dvds as well and as always if you've seen any of these movies definitely let me know what you think of them and here is the big bin right there <laughs> Yeah, this is a heavy sucker right there. And I actually got him to deliver it, which was even better. Um, it said he was 52 minutes away, so essentially like an hour away, but he said it took him an hour and a half to get here. So that's kind of crazy. I kind of feel bad about that, but what can you do? Um, let's go ahead and get into it. First up are the DVDs, Team America World Police. <laughs> this movie cracks me up. Crazy puppet sex. Uh, just over-the-top ridiculousness from the creators of uh, South Park right here. I love the voice acting, just raunchy puppet fun. Uh, Paycheck, which I haven't seen with Ben Affleck, Aaron Eckhart, and Uma Thurman, but I'm actually very interested in, in checking this one out. It looks very tense and thrilling. And then the Naked Gun triple feature right here, the first Naked Gun, a Naked Gun two and a half, and Naked Gun 33 and a third right there. This is back when uh, the juice was still on the loose. And then you've got uh, the Unbreakable, Kind of digi-pack edition right there. I love this movie. I love this edition. Probably one of my favorite M. Night Shyamalan movies. If you love comic books, I would definitely recommend the heck out of this one. Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis were, were both badass in this one, but love Samuel L. Jackson in this one. And then there's like the Slim Pack DVD for Dragon Princess with uh, Sonny Chiba right there. And then there is a steelbook, a Hurt Locker steelbook, but it is a it's Blu-ray, but it's the one of the DVD size ones. I can't remember is that G1 or G2, whatever they call it, but I hate those where it's a DVD size one. I didn't realize it initially. I mean, again, this movie I thought was uh, really tense and thrilling. Some great acting in here, but overall, I don't think it was Oscar award uh, winning uh, worthy. I think it just won because of political reasons, but still a very good movie from uh, Catherine Bigelow. And let's get on to the rest of the Blu-rays. We've got uh, District 9 with the slipcover. Love the heck out of this movie. Uh, this basically kind of launched Neil Blomkamp into uh, his heights that he is in now, although I hated Chappie. Ugh. But uh, District 9 is fantastic. And I remember this slipcover being kind of hard to find. So I think I might have the Blu-ray, but I never got the slipcover, so now I have the slipcover. Next up is Boondock Saints. I think I'm one of the only people that didn't enjoy this movie. Uh, I've only watched it once. I just remember it being so ridiculous and over the top. It's one of those movies that like, every girl loves because, you know, she likes the dudes in here. And I'm just like, ugh. Maybe I'll give it another chance, though, now that I have it on Blu-ray. And next up is, uh, I remember there's a scene with, like, a cat or something. They're hiding in, like, a hotel room in, like, uh, the ceiling or something. Uh, it was just, everything was just so ridiculous and over the top for me. It was too much, but I'm going to give it another chance. Next up is Boondock Saints 2 All Saints Day. Never saw this one because, again, I wasn't a fan of the first one. But uh, next up is Street Kings with a great cast in here. I need to check this one out. Next up is Green Lantern the Extended Cut. Nice foily slipcover. I seem to be one of the few people that actually really enjoy this one. Uh, big fan of Ryan Reynolds. I remember him when I first saw him in Two Guys a Girl in a Pizza Place. I was like, that guy's going to be a star. He was the perfect fit for Deadpool. I really enjoyed him in another one called Voices, which he did all the voices in that movie. Uh, and this one had a, a great supporting cast in here as well with Angela Bassett, uh, Mark Strong, Peter uh, Sarsgaard was great, Blake Lively, always stunning. Where the Wild Things Are, I haven't seen this one right here. I believe this is a Spike Jones movie. It's upside down in the slipcover right there. Yeah, uh, I remember uh, reading the books of these when I was a little kid, so I'm curious to see what the film adaptation will be like. Next up is Three Days to Kill. I'm a big fan of Kevin Costner and Amber Heard. Oh, she's so stunning. 
So looking forward to checking that one out. Kevin Costner looking tough. Tears of the Sun. I remember seeing this one in the theaters with my father, so this one kind of have a, has a special place in my heart. Bruce Willis kind of being typecast again as either military or police officer, uh, but all around badass, and he was kicking butt in this one. Next up is The Last Exorcism Part 2, which I haven't seen, but I loved the first one. Again, I seem to be in the minority on that one because I hear that one get a lot of hate all the time, but I love the way that was done. Uh, the, the, the twist of the ending, oh, just put it over the top for me. So looking forward to checking this one out. And uh, the lead actress in here, too. I don't know if she's in this one or not. Uh, I believe her name is Ashley Bell, uh, but she was fantastic with the contortionist movement. She's been in a bunch of stuff since then and very talented young actress. Next up is Snitch with The Rock. Uh, I haven't seen this one, but uh, snitches get stitches. No, I'm just kidding. But it looks like he's kicking butt again. And I like, um, here's another one with The Rock, Faster, with uh, Billy Bob Thorne. But I like The Rock a lot. I think he does a good mixture of action and comedy. He can pull both off. Next up is X-Men First Class. Now, there are two ones missing from this one. When I did my initial video, I ended up selling two of them, The Avengers, and then there was an X-Men box set, which had the first three X-Men movies and then X-Men First Class, and it had some glossy, like, postcard character cards, essentially, but I got rid of both of those ones and sold them um, in X-Men First Class. Yeah, initially, I only wanted, like, 50-something of these movies in here, but he wouldn't break up the lot. And I figured for less than $2 a Blu-ray, it's worth the price for getting them all. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of ones in here that I either didn't want or already have. Uh, Hall Pass, which is another one that I didn't really care for too much. There's like one or two scenes that I laughed at and I didn't really like the ending. Wasn't a big fan of that one. Quantum of Solace, I thought this one was actually pretty decent. I'm not a big fan of Daniel Craig as Bond though. Cop Out. Uh, which is from directed by Kevin Smith, and I thought this was just such a letdown. I like the premise a lot. Uh, I wish somebody else would revisit that idea, especially around the baseball card. And uh, but Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan had no cast chemistry. It just seemed like Bruce Willis didn't want to be there at all. And I heard there's some kind of drama with him and Kevin Smith on set. I don't know all the details. Uh, the other guys, which I thought was disappointing. Um, this was, uh, they, they recently did Daddy's Home as well, uh, Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell together, and I think Will Ferrell has better uh, chemistry with other actors, like Kevin Hart, I thought he had better chemistry with him. Um, again, Daddy's Home I thought was just okay, and I thought the other guys was worse. Um, some of the supporting cast with Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Dwayne Johnson, and um, Michael Keaton were good though, but overall it just had like one or two laughs for me and I just wasn't that into it. Next up is Terminator Salvation, which I did enjoy this one. I love that slipcover too. I like the cast in here. Um, I liked it more than most people seem to. Decent sci-fi action movie. Next up is The Darkest Hour, a really good post-apocalyptic movie. Uh, sci-fi, horror elements in there. I like the cast in here a lot as well. This one really surprised me. Uh, next up is Looper, which is a fantastic sci-fi time travel movie, one of the better ones of recent times, uh, along with uh, Predestination with Ethan Hawke. That was another great sci-fi time travel movie. Uh, but this one right here has a great cast, Emily Blunt, Bruce Willis, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Would highly recommend the heck out of this one. And next up is Resident Evil Afterlife. This is one of those franchises that seems to get progressively worse with each installment. I love the first two, although the animated one was actually really good, the CG animated one. Hancock, which I, I'm a big fan of Will Smith, and they're going to make a sequel to this, I heard. And I really liked his character in here, kind of like the anti-hero and doesn't take any guff. Next up is uh, Contraband with Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark, and uh, Kate Beckinsale. Don't know too much about this one, but looks like it's going to be action-packed. Broken City with Russell Crowe and Mark Wahlberg. Haven't seen this one, but I remember the trailer's looking pretty tense and thrilling. Next up is Zombieland, which I love the heck out of this one. Bill Murray just makes this one for me. And it has uh, my girlfriend in here, uh, Emma Stone, who is absolutely friggin' stunning. And Woody Harrelson was great in here, too. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg, not a big fan, but he was perfect for this role in here. Kind of that, uh, you know, just really eccentric and nervous and, you know. Um, but overall, this is just such a fun... Zomcom. Uh, I think this is a good date movie. It's got horror, comedy, some uh, romance in there as well. Ong Bak 3. Now I do have the DVD box set, so I have this on Blu-ray now. I just need to upgrade the other two. Uh, Tony Jaw, one of the best modern martial arts stars in my opinion. Total Recall, the new one with Colin Farrell and Kate Beckinsale. Um, I still need to check this one out. I recently got the Blu-ray Steelbook for this one, so don't really need that one, although it has a really nice slipcover, but 
that's okay. Uh, next up is The Campaign with Zach Galvanakis and Will Ferrell. This one had some really funny scenes in here, but overall it was just about average to me. Uh, it didn't, you know, the rest of the scenes that just kind of fell flat to me didn't outweigh the ones that just were, made me actually laugh, but still. Uh, next up is Up which I remember this one being so depressing. Everybody loved this one, but I just, I don't know. I just thought it was a really depressing and just kind of eh. But I'll give it another chance. Thor, which I don't know if this is like a um, exclusive or what because it has like the comic book on the back and then that slip cover is really sweet. But I did enjoy the heck out of that one. Safe House, again, with uh, two actors I really enjoy. Uh, you've got uh, Denzel and then Ryan Reynolds. I haven't seen this one. I've been wanting to see it for like a while. Eagle Eye, which I'm not a big Shia LaBeouf fan, uh, but I'm going to give this one a chance. Looks like some good spy action kind of stuff going on. Next up is Planet Hulk. Looks like some good animation. Haven't checked it out yet. Uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. I'm not a big fan of this franchise, but I haven't seen this one. I do love that slipcover, though, with the dual uh, characters right there on each side. End of Watch, which I absolutely love. Love the POV style for this one. Oh, the ending just gets me right here. Uh, I love the cast as well. Great cast chemistry with Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena. Highly recommend the heck out of this one. Next up, uh, this was disappointing to me. Savages from uh, Oliver Stone. Uh, I did enjoy the cast, but overall it was just about average to me. And the ending just kind of annoyed me. It seemed like they couldn't make up their mind with how they wanted it to end. There's kind of like two endings in a way. I just didn't care for that aspect. Uh, Red 2, which I still need to check out. I do enjoy the cast a lot uh, for the first one, and the second one looks like the same. Uh, Crank 2, I'm not a big fan of the Crank movies. This is a uh, high voltage, but I love Amy Smart. And I missed the uh, Jason Statham when he did like Lock, Stock, and Snatch, and that's when I was a big fan of him. Uh, Saw, <laughs> the final chapter. I do like The Clear Case, but this was terrible. This is another one of those franchises that got progressively worse as the series went on. After three, they were just unwatchable for me. Uh, but I heard they're gonna make another one. Of course they will, it's all about that money. Uh, Mechanic, uh, I remember the original with Charles Bronson. I haven't seen this one with uh, uh, Statham right here. And Ben Foster, who I think is a very underrated actor, loved him in 30 Days of Night, his character there. Donald Sutherland as well. Looked like it's gonna be action-packed. Punisher Warzone, which was super uh, action-packed, and I remember enjoying the heck out of this one, so happy to add that to the collection. Uh, next up is Public Enemies, which I haven't seen with Johnny Depp, Christian Bale. Uh, so looking forward to checking that one out. Uh, next up is The Town. Incredible heist movie. One of the best heist movies out there. I really enjoy Ben Affleck. He's coming into his own as an actor, and he's a fantastic director. I love the supporting cast in here as well. My only criticism about this movie uh, is the romance aspect was a little bit too much for me at times, but I'm a big fan of Jeremy Renner, uh, John Hamm. Um, Blake Lively, always stunning. I liked everybody in here, essentially, and loved the heck out of that movie. Tron Legacy, which I thought was, the soundtrack was amazing to this one. Very visually stunning as well. Uh, next up is Fast Five. A uh, good action-packed movie. Paul Walker, may he rest in peace. Brooklyn's Finest, one of my favorite uh, modern crime dramas. Love the cast here. Oh my gosh, this one was amazing. I would highly recommend the heck out of this one from Antoine uh, Fuqua. In Time, which was just about an average sci-fi action thriller movie. I like the cast a lot here. Amanda Seyfried, Justin Timberlake, um, ah, what was that guy, Cillian or Killian Murphy, however you say it. But the concept was just, ah, they needed to work that out a little bit better. Just, it didn't work for me personally. Um, Olivia Wilde too, which was funny because I believe she played the mother of Justin Timberlake, but the concept needed to be some, uh, some tweaking done. Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise, big fan of his. Uh, I think he's a great actor. He's been around for a long time. He's done so many great films. Uh, one of the better um, Mission Impossible movies. Might be my favorite in the series, actually. Uh, Star Trek. I love the, the dual size right there with the dual characters as well. Anton Yeltsin recently passed away. Very tragic. May he rest in peace. The Crazies, which I love way more than the original Romero. I thought this remake was fantastic. I love the visuals in here, just tense and thrilling. Great cast as well. Next up is Expendables 2. Great all-star action cast right here. I really enjoyed this one. John claude Van Damme in there. Ninja with Scott Atkins. I enjoy the heck out of this one. Some good martial arts in there. I really like Scott Atkins as well as an action star. The Dark Knight Rises. Love the lenticular slipcover on that one. And I love that whole franchise. Extract, which I remember seeing this one. Uh, kind of like a rom-com. Uh, decent cast in here. But uh, I remember there's like some kind of betrayal going on. And oh, Mila Kunis is so stunning. 
But I remember it being just about average. Uh, Legion, which I really enjoyed the heck out of this one. I heard a lot of people crap on it, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, Book of Eli, which is another one that I love. Great post-apocalyptic movie. I'm a big fan of that genre, and I love the ending. I didn't see that coming. And that was another one with uh, Mila Kunis in it as well. And great supporting cast, too. Denzel's always awesome as the lead. And Napoleon Dynamite, which I freaking hate. I'm like one of the only people that hates this movie, it seems like. Um, everybody raves about it, but I've lived all over the place, went to tons of different schools. I've never heard anybody talk like Napoleon Dynamite. And it seems like he might have some kind of learning disability, in which case it wouldn't be fun to laugh, or wouldn't be proper to laugh at him, uh, or funny to laugh at him and his jokes and everything that he's doing. I don't know, I just wasn't into it. Um, Underworld, The Rise of the Lycans. I like the franchise a lot, so happy about them. The Spear, which I friggin' hated this movie. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson's character was so ridiculous and over the top. I think he was in, like, Nazi garb at one point. Um, I, I couldn't get into this one. Ugh. Uh, Night and Day with Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. Again, big fan of both of them, and I'm expecting tons of action. I've seen scenes of that one, but never the full thing. Premium Rush, which I'm a big fan of both Michael Shannon and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, I haven't seen this one, but I've heard good things. Traitor, which is another one that I haven't seen, but I'm a big fan of Don Cheadle and Guy Pierce, So definitely looking forward to that. Clerks 2, not my favorite from Kevin Smith. Had some good moments in it, but uh, I definitely prefer the first Clerks movie over this one. I heard they might make another one. And Yoga Hosers looks like it's going to be crazy. Battleship, I heard this was terrible, but I do like the cast. And uh, Rihanna is stunning, so... Give it a chance. Jennifer's Body, which I do want to get. I think it's like the Future Pack or Metal Pack, Steelbook, whatever it is. I think it's from Canada. Um, I did enjoy the heck out of this one, but eventually I want to get that one. Uh, it looks like a stunning one. So uh, Unknown with Liam Neeson. Haven't seen this one. Uh, next up is the Smoking Aces Collection, two movie collection right there. Um, I, there it is. I had it backwards. But there we go. Uh, the first two. I think there's only two in there. Uh, the first one I thought was... Decently action-packed. I like the cast a lot. Uh, again, Ryan Reynolds, uh, Common, a uh, bunch of different people in there. I haven't seen the second one, though. Next up is Bangkok Dangerous, which I haven't seen. Nicolas Cage is in, like, a ton of movies, like a bazillion. He's got to make all that money to spend that money. Sherlock Holmes, which I enjoyed this one. I do have the Blu-ray Steelbook for it. I didn't really like the second one as much, especially that weird, like, thought-out re-motion kind of thing. Salt with Angelina Jolie, which I have, but I still haven't seen. It's one of those ones that's just been sitting. Uh, Watchmen, director's cut. Love the heck out of this one. I have so many different editions. Great adaptation from the comic books. I read the comic books as a kid. Big fan. Tropic Thunder, which is another one that I, I everybody raved about that I just didn't really care for. I mean, uh, I'm a god playing the god, playing the god. Blah. There's only a couple scenes in here I like. Tom Cruise made this movie for me. That was, he was the best part by far, in my opinion. Uh, next up is Righteous Kill. I remember not really enjoying this one. I thought it was average at best. Uh, Rock and Roller, <clears throat> which I haven't seen. Uh, it's a Guy Ritchie film. I do like Guy Ritchie, though. Next up is Bullet to the Head with Stallone. Haven't seen it. I'm expecting all-out balls-to-the-wall action. Inglorious Bastards from Tarantino. Love the heck out of this one. Killing Nazis. Uh, fantastic film. Uh, this is the one that really uh, introduced me, at least, to Christoph Waltz, who is a fantastic actor. Uh, Gamer, which I've heard people just say was terrible, but I've never seen it. Figured why the heck not. Alright, so of course my video stopped right in the middle when I was talking. I thought I was all done and it just cut off. I'm like, oh great, now I have to redo this ending part, but that's alright. Uh, next up is Saw 6. Uh, again, just progressively worse as the series goes on. I can't believe they're making another one. I, actually, I can't believe it. Uh, it's all about making that money. Uh, the acting was just terrible in all the ones. After Saw 3, they were just essentially unwatchable for me. Just... You know, some of the gore effects were decent, but besides that, it's just, what's the point? Uh, Get the Gringo, which I thought was a really good movie with Mel Gibson, a uh, recent one. Very underrated. Never hear anybody talk about this one. He's trapped in a Mexican prison, and it's all out action and him kicking butts. And this slipcover is actually different than the slipcover that I have. And I just noticed now it's a Best Buy exclusive with over 35 minutes of bonus content. So I think I'll get rid of my one and keep this one, although it does have sticker residue, so I'll have to get that off. So because I really did enjoy this one, so that's cool. Best Buy exclusive for that one. Next up is Battle Los Angeles, which is, for me, it was only about average. I know people love this movie. I hear people rave about it. I did like the cast. It's an alien invasion movie, sci-fi action. I'll give it another watch. I do have the steelbook to this one. Uh, next up is Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning. Love the heck out of this one. If you like action movies, I would highly recommend this one. Um, Scott Atkins, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren. Action-packed. 
Bruce Willis, a good day to die hard. I couldn't stand the last two die hard movies. Uh, just terrible. But I love the first three. Those ones were amazing. Uh, but yeah, just not a fan. Uh, next up is Pandorum with uh, Dennis Quaid and Ben Foster. Again, big fan of Ben Foster, very underrated actor. And this one was really kind of like sci-fi horror. Reminds me of a bit of uh, Event Horizon. Just very psychological horror elements to it. Very trippy. And love this one a lot. Next up is 21 Jump Street. I was really surprised with the cast chemistry with uh, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. They're not two actors I really enjoy at all, uh, but they work really well together. I love the sequel as well. Ice Cube was awesome. And uh, next up is Seven Psychopaths. I thought this had a fantastic cast and great writing. Um, I wanted a little bit more from it, especially the ending, but overall it was definitely worth checking out. Next up is G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Um, I don't think I've ever seen the full thing in this one. I've seen parts here and there, but I remember just having some decent action in it. Next up is Iron Man 2. I think I'm one of the only ones that loves this movie, and for me, this is the best in the series by far. The first Iron Man movie, uh, the villain was like a joke, Jeff Bridges. It's just Whiplash, and this one right here, played by Mickey Rourke, was a way more threatening and better villain. Uh, and this one has way better cast than the first one, supporting cast. Again, in the first one, you've got money-hungry Terrence Howard, who held out and got kicked out for wanting too much money, and which was stupid on his part. He could have been in uh, the other two Iron Man movies, the Avengers movies, all tons of movies. But now you have a way better actor in Don Cheadle, and he was smarter because he got more money and more roles. And Don Cheadle's just such a better actor. Again, I've talked about it before, one of my favorite movies, uh, sports movies, is Rebound, The Legend of Earl the Goat Manigault, The Goat. And uh, he was fantastic in that one. That was the first movie I saw Don Cheadle in. I was like, this guy has got some talent. And I would highly recommend Rebound if you can check that one out. Not to be confused with the movie Rebound with uh, Martin Lawrence. Completely different movie. <laughs> but this one is definitely my, by far my favorite. Iron Man 3 was just garbage to me. Next up is Law Abiding Citizen, which I just watched recently for the first time. And I really enjoyed uh, how it played out. Very tense and thrilling. And I like Jamie Foxx and Gerard Butler and the supporting cast as well. Uh, so I have this one at Steelbook now, but happy to have finally watched this one. I've heard so many people rave about it for so long, and now I finally checked it out, and very happy that I did so. And so there you go. Those were all the pickups right there. 95 total, although I did sell the two, so 93 in this one. But in the first video, you saw all 95. But if you could see them because of the glare coming through, through the light, through the blinds, and then me not having the light on, I, I dropped the ball on that one. Uh, but there you go. If you've seen these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them and let me know what your favorite movie from this lot uh, was. And uh, again, I'm all about that bargain hunting and deal hunting. I thought this was a fantastic deal. I've been finding some awesome deals lately and it was super generous that guy delivered it too, especially since he said it took him an hour and a half to get here. I feel a little bit bad about that, but worked out great for me and uh, very souped for this deal. Just an awesome deal again. Uh, 95 total movies, 91 Blu-rays uh, for $180. Again, less than $2 a Blu-ray, and he threw in the four DVDs, so souped on it. And uh, hope everybody's doing well. Take care.